Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MacTube. This is lesson number 6 in less than 20 minutes. And it is specially made for engineering mathematics new syllabus. Anyway, today we are going to work out some very important problems that they may ask for 4 marks. Now in the new syllabus you have short questions for 2 marks and long questions for 4 marks. That is, we are going to learn how to evaluate limits in the form 1 power infinity, 0 to the power 0, and infinity to the power 0. I gave you one question as homework in the last class. And uh, like what you call, I hope you got the answer. Anyway, the question is like x multiplied by log tan x. Now, I am going to tell you one shortcut method to evaluate it. I think some of you did a long process. Anyway, what's the first thing to do? I hope you still remember the first thing is direct substitution. So 0 multiplied by log tan 0 and that gives me 0 multiplied by log 0 which happens to be 0 into infinity. I don't care about that minus Anyway, come on, tell me the method. Do you still remember? The method is pull one of the quantities to the denominator using the trick a is equal to 1 by 1 by a. And you can pull this x to the denominator or you can pull this log tan x to the denominator. But I don't want to make my problem complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as log tan x the whole divided by 1 by x. Now I am a little bit comforted because now I will be able to apply L'Hopital's rule. Why? Because it is infinity by infinity. If you want to be precise you can put minus infinity by infinity. Anyway I did my differentiation. Log something 1 by same thing multiplied by uh, tan x the derivative is x square x and 1 by x now what we do is we have to simplify okay i did that okay now comes one very very important point look at this in your class 11th even before you learn l'hopital's rule you learn some standard limits you have learned even two three more than the list i have kept here so you can note down these standard limits that is sin x by x. If x is very small, not every time, if it is like 0.5 degree or 0.1 degree, that is if x is a very small number, sin x by x will be 1. x by sin x automatically will become 1, tan x by x, x by e power x minus 1, etc, etc. And there are a few more standard limits. Uh, like limit x tends to 0, log 1 plus x the whole divided by x. You can check it and find the answer. Anyway, these limits can be applied. These limits can be applied if the standard limit appears inside any problem in a product form. Not when it is in addition and subtraction. It's a little bit hard to understand. I'll make you understand by working out the problem completely. I will take this minus outside. Limit x tends to 0. Uh, now look at this. I am going to write this as x by sin x. I am intentionally writing that. x 1 by cos x. Did you understand? I took 1 x. I collected this sin x. The remaining x is here. It is the same thing. Now look at this. The quantity x divided by sin x is a product in comparison with the remaining quantities. So I am allowed to apply the limit. But if it is connected by plus, if it is connected by minus, don't do that. So I am going to get minus 1 multiplied by 0 multiplied by 1 by cos 0 which is 1. And the answer is 0. Now let's go for the next form. That is infinity minus infinity. I won't waste too much time. This is like too easy. 
you can understand and you can work out a few problems you'll be able to solve all the problems easily if you have infinity by infinity make sure you create a fraction because you're going to pull these things down and take LCM in every problem you'll force to take LCM so I'm not explaining sec x means 1 by cos tan x means sine by cos I took LCM or the common factor oh wow 0 by 0 the remaining you do it now look at this 1 by what's the first thing to do yeah 1 by 0 that tends to infinity minus 1 by e power 0 what is e power 0 1 minus 1 so I got infinity by infinity it is already a fraction so all I have to do is apply uh, or take the LCM now look at this I got 0 divided by 0 if I get 0 divided by 0 what will I do I will apply L'Hopital's rule which tells me differentiate the numerator what's the derivative of e power x e power x what is the derivative of 1 it is 0 what is the derivative of x it is minus 1 I mean minus x and for the denominator we can apply product rule but the problem with this method is uh, again I got 0 divided by 0 again I had to apply product rule anyway the final answer is 1 by 2 but I'll give you one easy method I can actually see one standard form e power x minus 1 divided by x. I am multiplying and dividing. Now look at this. This e power x minus 1 by x is a product with respect to the remaining part. So I can replace this with 1. Once more, I will repeat you can utilize the standard limits that you learned in plus 1 provided the standard limit appears as a product with respect to the remaining part but you are not allowed to utilize that formula if it is connected by plus or minus now this is so simple look e power 0 1 minus 1 minus 0 divided by 0 squared that is 0 by 0 I can apply the L'Hopital's rule so differentiate the numerator differentiate the denominator check it oh no again 0 by 0 but think about it the differentiation is like so easy compared to the first method that I showed you differentiate the numerator differentiate the denominator apply the limit I got 1 by 2 now the most 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 important form in your syllabus because if they ask from here I'm sure they're going to apply and they're going to give four marks anyway I'll introduce this method with an easy problem anyway as before I applied I got 1 power infinity now look at this 1 power infinity you saw the title of the video 1 power infinity 0 power 0 infinity power 0 the method is same first of all let the given limit be capital L if you don't like L you use any letter that you like second thing apply logarithm on both sides you take logarithm on both sides and our logarithm has a very very interesting and important property this B will jump outside and we will get something like this by the way please understand in your books whenever they write log in a calculus portion that means differentiation continuity integration limits they try to imply log to the base e so I'm going to take log on both sides so can you tell me what will happen are you able to see a to the power b a is 1 plus x and b is 1 by x so b multiplied by log a and that simplifies to log 1 plus x divided by x now look at this I have intentionally committed one mistake which I always see in the answer paper do you know what's the mistake that I made 
I am taking log on both sides. But remember, this is a limit problem. And when I take log on both sides, because of the properties of limits, the flexibility of limits, the log goes inside. So, I should not forget to write the limit. If you don't write the limit, then what we have done is wrong. Now check the form log 1 divided by, yeah, we did it. Now it's just L'Hopital's rule. So once more let me tell you, if you get 0 power 0, infinity power 0, 1 power infinity, first thing you give it a name, take log on both sides but don't forget the limit and then apply L'Hopital if you can. If you cannot convert it into infinity by infinity or 0 by 0, then apply L'Hopital. Anyway, here I can apply log something 1 by the same thing, the whole divided by 1. That's it. I got it. The answer will be 1 by 1 plus 0, 1. Wait a minute. The name of the question is capital L, not log L. If log is 1, you have to invert it. What is the inverse of logarithm? Is it log inverse 1? No, 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 no. We don't write log inverse. The inverse of logarithm is e to the power. So that's it. Now let's go for another problem. Okay, this one is also a demonstration with a simple, a simple problem so that you'll understand it clearly. 0 power 0. What's the first thing to do? Come on, tell me. If you get involved in it, it will stay in your brain. Okay, first thing, call the limit capital L. I like the letter L. I'm using it as uh, my standard format for all the problems. If you don't like L, use some other letter. Second thing, take log on both sides, but don't forget the limit. What is log a to the power b? b log a. Now test. Oh no. Oh no. I was expecting I will get 0 by 0. Disaster. It is 0 multiplied by minus infinity. But in the last class, we learned what to do when you have 0 into infinity. Pull one of them down. I am going to pull the symbol function. So I get log x by 1 by x. Log 0 is minus infinity by 1 by 0 is infinity. Now we can apply the L'Hopital's rule. Log x divided by 1 by x. After applying L'Hopital's rule, what will you do? Simplify. I have already done it. And apply the limit. But don't be too happy. This is not the answer. This is log L is equal to. By the way, one very important thing. Uh, study videos are not movies or like what you call documentaries or like too interesting stuff. If you really want to score marks by watching these videos, make sure you have a paper and a pen with you. That is very important and you work out the problem along with me. If you listen to me, you may understand the concept up to 30 to 40 percent. If you work out along with me, you will understand the concept up to 70 to 80 percent. If you work out a lot of problems after watching this video, you will definitely get good marks. So don't forget that. And also one thing, support us. You can support us by sharing these videos with your friends. You can join our Viber group. You can send us donations. And of course, like, share and comment. Comment the answers and comment how comfortable you are with mathematics. Okay, let's go back to our topic. Ah, now, a little bit complicated problems. So, cortex to the power sine 2x. What's the first thing to do? Okay, let me do it. Cot 0, infinity, sine 0 is 0. 
variable to the power variable or like we got the last type so take log i took log and now again i am testing 0 multiplied by log infinity oh no again it is not 0 by 0 again it is not infinity by infinity but i am not worried i know what to do if i get 0 multiplied by infinity i have to pull one of the quantity to the denominator i am i prefer this because i know 1 by sin is cosec now let's apply L'Hopital. I hope you remember the derivative of log something is 1 by same thing. And what is the derivative of cortex? Minus cos x square x. And the derivative here. And I simplified, simplified, simplified. By the way, pause the video and try to do it yourself. Once more I repeat, pause the video, try it yourself. And I simplified. Uh, I multiplied by 2. If you don't want to do that, you just apply the formula for sine 2 theta, which happens to be 2 sine theta cos theta. Anyway, I got the answer 0. Like I warned before, don't be too happy. This is not our answer. This is the answer for log L. So L will be log inverse. By the way, the inverse of logarithmic function is e to the power. So I hope you are okay with this. We will do one more problem that is like very very important and by the way we will conclude this chapter in the next video. I will show you an outline of what we are going to do next and we will wind the video because these are like extra important problems. So in the next video uh, we will say goodbye to indeterminate forms and we will slowly move on to the next application, asymptotes. That is a very interesting topic. Now look at this. What is tan x by x? What is tan x by x? If you, if you told me the answer is 1, I am not going to agree with you. Tan x by x will become 1 if x is very small. So remember, sin x by x is not 1 sin x by x will become 1 if x is a very small number. Anyway, here it is given x is a very small number. So, we get 1 to the power 1 by 0 squared and that is 1 power infinity. So, as usual, we take, first of all, give a name, we take logarithm and then there is a long procedure if you want, you try it. You try it, but in the next video, we will learn how to work out problems like this. So, we will be back very soon. So, till then, my friends, bye.